Hi guys, it's Gina and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review and a demo using the new Garnier Fructis Curl Treats. These are brand new to the drugstore. I'm so glad that Garnier is coming out with sulfate and silicone free products because they're listening to us. You guys know I only try to feature natural based products on my channel that are sulfate and silicone free, but I've been hearing a lot of buzz about these so I had to try them out for myself so I picked them up at Target. But I have the smoothie defining cream and then the jelly shaping. So I love mixing a cream and a gel when I style my hair. I find that I get the best results when I do it that way. So these are my results, obviously, of using those two products together. So I'm gonna be walking you through step by step how I got these results and what my thoughts were on them. So first off, let's chat about the Smoothie Defining Cream. This says it's for fine to normal hair, which I'm surprised that it's not saying it's for super curly hair because I think that a really thick butter cream like this would be really good for that. But I guess because it's a lighter hold, you don't get a lot of hold usually with a cream. So maybe that's why they say for fine to normal hair. But having a thick buttercream like this that is for fine hair is amazing because it's not gonna weigh down your hair. This says it's 88% biodegradable formula, no sulfates, silicones, no parabens, artificial colorants, or mineral oil. Great job, Garnier, on that. It's 98% naturally derived. This has some super hydrating ingredients in it like coconut oil, it has uh, sunflower seed oil. Overall, seems like pretty good ingredients, especially for a drugstore price, that's amazing. The smell smells so good. I normally don't like the smell of coconut not or anything too fruity, but this actually smells really good. It smells similar to some of their other products, but I just can't place it with which one it is because I haven't used their stuff in so long. But you can see the texture, it's a super thick cream. So the first thing that I'm going to do to apply this is I'm starting out with clean hair. I did deep condition today. If you wanna see my deep conditioning routine, I will link it for you down below but I use one of my favorite protein-based deep conditioners, which really helps to give my hair some definition and shine, and I rinse it out with some cold water. I'm first gonna spray down my hair with water. I just wanted to use the towel first to just help absorb some of the excess water at my roots, but you actually do want to apply this to soaking wet hair, so I'm just gonna spritz my hair, especially where it's starting to dry on the ends. I wanna make sure that those are good and wet before we start applying the product. And I'm first gonna section off my hair. I've been sectioning off my hair to apply my products recently because I find that I get better coverage, I get less frizz, at the root and stuff when I have more product like actually being applied to each section individually. So we're gonna start out with the cream and I definitely applied too much. It says to use a quarter size amount on your whole head, but you guys know I never end up doing that. I always use too much product. So definitely pick up less than I did. Um, I'm just smoothing this all throughout my hair and I'm combing it through and you can scrunch with it as well. It's super hydrating. It definitely, it doesn't look white on the hair, but you can tell if you've used too much, like you can kind of see it on your hair. So now I'm going to apply the jelly. This is the jelly shaping. This says, again, it has no sulfates or silicones. This is 98% naturally derived, and this contains um, coconut oil, citrus lemon fruit extract, and some other good ingredients in it. The texture of this is so weird. I was not expecting this at all. It looks almost just like jello but it almost looks like whipped jello, if that makes sense. It's not a sticky gel or anything like that. It's definitely pretty hydrating, and it's you can tell that it has more moisture in it than a standard gel. Um, it doesn't feel too sticky or too drying or anything, and this one smells a little bit different, but it smells really good. This one is a little bit stronger of a scent, I think. I always like to do a cream first and then the gel. And since I kind of did apply too much product, I'm just gonna take my hair repair towel and scrunch some of that out, and that just helps absorb some of the excess product. And you can see I have really good curl definition, and it's really helping here to shrink up my curls. You can definitely tell um, how much hydration the products give your hair. So now I'm just gonna continue on with the rest of my head. I didn't realize until filming this of how long this takes when I actually section it off, because I'm being super precise with making sure that I get every strand good and coated. I'm just kind of doing the same process where I'm applying the cream first and the gel and then combing it through and just make sure that I coat everything evenly. So I like to take the Denman brush and just kind of pick up random pieces and curl them like the ones around my face and that way I get little ringlets. You just hold the brush up high like you would a curling wand and pull it down the strand and you can see how it really creates a good ringlet and then just give it a little scrunch. So I don't like to do my whole head with that because it clumps my curls together too much and I want it to just have a few ringlets but I don't want my whole head to be clumped together because then I don't have as much volume and it looks like I hardly have any hair. So before we get started with diffusing, I am gonna spray a heat protectant. This one is from Aveda. It's their Brilliant Damage Control. I just spray this all over my ends to make sure that they are good and protected from the diffuser. 
So I am gonna plop my hair for about five to 10 minutes. I just flip my head over and I apply it my hair repair towel. I just tie it up in a knot. I have a video on how to pop your hair. I will link it for you down below, but I recommend doing that before diffusing just to absorb some of the moisture. I'm just gonna use my Irresistible Me dryer on the lowest heat setting and the lowest airflow setting. I'm using my crock diffuser attachment, which is from Amazon. So now to diffuse, I'm just gonna flip my head upside down. I'm gonna place a diffuser right at the end of my hair and then give it a lift. And that's gonna help really shrink up my curls. Helps give me a lot more volume. And then I like to also take the teeth of the diffuser, place them right at my roots and give them a lift. And that just helps with volume as well. And then I always finish off with the cold setting. You wanna make sure to do this just to tame any frizz and seal everything in. So now that I'm finished diffusing, you can see how much definition my hair has. One thing that I noticed is I was really impressed by when I was finished diffusing that I didn't have to go in and touch up any areas. I always have to do this after I diffuse. I usually end up with a lot of frizz like around this back area. And I usually will have to take a little bit more gel and some water and go back over that. And sometimes I even have to re-diffuse that area. I didn't have that at all. I just literally finished diffusing and shook it out and I still have these great results. I was shocked at the amount of hold that this gel had in creams together. I really thought these were not gonna have much hold at all. I don't know why I just had that impression of them because they seem to me like they're very hydrating, like with the coconut ingredients and stuff. And to me, that just sounded like something that was not gonna be a lot of hold. So I was really impressed with this. I'm impressed with the amount of curl definition that I have in the hold. It's just amazing. Whenever I have this much hold in a product, it definitely lasts a lot longer. I have the right amount of hold and the right amount of crunch to where I know this wash and go is gonna last me several days and I might not even have to refresh tomorrow. So since this is a first impression review and the first time I'm trying it out, I'm not sure how well it holds up. So I will try to update you on my Instagram stories about how it's holding up each day. So make sure you're following me over there and I will do a short little clip every day and show you how my hair is before and after refreshing tomorrow and then the next day until I actually break down and wash my hair again. So overall, I was very pleased with these, especially for the price. I am so glad that companies now are listening to us and making products that are sulfate and silicone free from the drugstore and a lot more accessible. You can find these at Target. I will put the link down below as well as on the blog post that goes with this video to the products and tools that I use as well as like the brush and the diffuser and everything like that. So that is it for this video. Make sure to leave me a comment down below if there's any other drugstore curly hair products you want me to try out. I definitely want to do a full routine using Garnier products, so if they make any conditioners and shampoos that are sulfate and silicone free. Be sure to tell me in the comments. So thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you don't miss when I post a new video. I usually post on Sundays and I do lots of curly hair videos for my 3B fine curly hair and as well as some makeup, how to's and everyday beauty type videos. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye everyone.